Alrighty then, so, we're back. Hopefully the game will be working, but we have to seize Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, we asked them to surrender, they refused, so we go to war, we go to battle. All right, so let's look here, what we got here? We have a long line of Union troops. So, I think what we're gonna do is, let's pull the general out. There we go. So these guys will be back up. We are anchored on this flank, which is good. I have two units of cab. So let's place one unit there. This unit will anchor that flank. There we go. All right, let's move forward. Oh, boy, they got artillery. We're gonna target the cavalry, I'll move the cavalry away. So what do they got in here? They got two units of artillery it looks like. A unit of state militia here. Another unit of Confederate regulars. a unit of Zouaves, even though I believe historically that by the end of the war they didn't exist. At the beginning of the Civil War, the, the Union Army was not really, um, like, standardized, but by the end of the, the war, it was, they had pretty standard, uh, equipment at least. A horrible... What word? I can't aim at them. They can't fire at all. Because they got to sh they can't aim. There's no one there to hit. We also have Union's Buford's Union Cavalry. And this is the end of the map, so... We're kinda anchored. Forward! Forward! What this wobs? Reinforce the line here with these two units. Push forward.
over here the battle is yet to start. It's a staring contest. I don't think anyone's in range. Yeah, we're not in range. Whatever, they got three units of Confederate infantry over here that aren't being engaged. Which means all the better for me. I believe in you. Single lone horseman. You can do it. No, he can't do it. He's a lost cause. The artillery fire. Engage them. Here they come. Give them hell. Reform, reform, reform. Imagine you're that close to your killer. You can see him. You can see them reload. Oh, they're gonna get the first shot off. Oh, no. Oh. We lost the sergeant. Shit. Oh, God. Return fire, you bastards. <laughs> They're literally firing point blank at each other. Two volleys broke them. Both, all of you, charge those guns. charge on the artillery. Send them to hell. My cat cavalry. It's good to charge. What are you doing? God, the AI is so shitty in this game. The pathfinding, I mean, is terrible. militia charge
sweep them from the field. We killed the general. Good work, team. I believe we've won the day. Oh, no. Captured a building. The Zwabs have stormed the hotel. Good work, team. Kill them all. We killed them all. Good work, team. We did it. We've taken Jackson, Mississippi. We've done it, lads. Victory for the Union. Time to unite America once again. Look at that. It's beautiful. They attacked us first, so... So it looks like the greatest concentration of Confederate troops is in Kentucky slash Tennessee. Hmm. Uh, no, I'm not giving you Maryland. Here it comes. Up, oh, defeated. <laughs> So let's repair up Mississippi. And then next, we seize New Orleans next. New Orleans. See, I have a friend from uh, Texas that says it like that. It's not New Orleans. New Orleans. All one word. Oh, Haiti's been destroyed. By what? By who? Haiti destroyed itself? Yeah. <laughs> So there's an army there. That army can only raid. I'm ordering General Sherman into the Tennessee Valley. So who don't I have here as a general? Let's see. Custer, Chamberlain, Buford, Meade, Grant. Ulysses S. Grant. What are these? Oh, the Iron Brigade. Let's get some Iron Brigade, yeah. Pennsylvania Bucktails. Shit, yeah, why not, right? Line Infantry, Line Infantry. 52nd Union New York German Rangers. Let's get one of them. sad music the music really makes this mod like believable in its era like as as an old timey like music mod where oh excuse me um as an old like like if you're gonna have a mod uh, set in like a certain age it's got to have good music to kind of immerse you in the um, like immerse you in the in the feel of the of the game of the of the of the scenario you're playing right so like uh, 
I'm trying to think of a good example that has like like a game like this that has good music. Hmm. Like Empire really doesn't have like a soundtrack to it. Like normal Empire Total War doesn't have like a soundtrack to it. At least not that I like know of or remember. Um Nor does, like, um, I'm trying to think, what's another, uh, Total War game that's Michigan? I'm trying to think, what's another, um, what's another game that Total War makes that has, like, Shogun. Shogun 2 has a good soundtrack, it, and so does, uh, what's it, uh, Fall of the Samurai. Had a, had a good soundtrack. Kind of made you feel in the air and kind of immersed you. Kind of made the game like, uh, you know. It made the game like, um, not more believable, but it made you feel in the game. You know what I mean? Like, it made, it gave the game like a little bit of uh, believability, maybe? I don't know what the right word for it is. But just made you feel immersed into it. Uh, and this mod does that very well. It has a very good like immersion. It's it's very good to the point where let's uh, make sure everyone's healed. Uh, it's very good to like immerse you in the era of the Civil War, like with all the songs and all the all the everything. So it's really cool, actually. It's really cool. Sure, whatever. Uh, Saratoga, East New York. Never been, but is nearby. <laughs> sure. Alright, cool. End of our turn. It's still 1861, and we've pretty much conquered the entire of, entirety of the Confederate States. There are a few Confederate holdouts left, but nothing substantial. I'm just going to speed it up, because these guys walk so slow. Uh, yeah, no, it's not gonna happen, France. You keep asking, and it's not gonna happen. Ooh. They took Quebec. The rebels took Quebec. Maybe I should outfit an expedition, march into Quebec, and take it. What do they have? Just medicine men? Just a bunch of, uh, Indians? I mean, the U.S. government got good at killing Indians after the war. Uh, we're gonna outfit General George Meade here. And... So 54, the 54th Massachusetts, along with uh, some colored infantry, according to what this says. And uh, yeah, and then we're going to send some Union volunteer infantry to go along with them. And they're going to go to Quebec, New France, and take it in the name of, uh, you know, in the name of the Union. Expand our territory into Quebec. Uh, we're still holding down Virginia. Uh, we're getting rid of some resistance to foreign occupation. So, that's good. Charleston is uh, pretty good. I think what we're going to do is we're going to leave a garrison in Charleston. Because you can do this in Total War games. In older Total War games at least. You can leave garrisons in places without creating a whole new army like that shit. Surrender. All right, they refuse to surrender, so we're just gonna besiege uh, Savannah. Meanwhile, we have General William Tecumseh Sherman here, who's gonna retake Kentucky. He's gonna retake Frankfort, Kentucky. He's also going to take Nashville. And then he's going to burn his way, not to Savannah, he's going to burn his way to St. Augustine, Florida. Stopping at every railroad track and such, burning it to the ground. Then with the army in Mississippi, we're going to take Louisiana. And then uh, that's pretty much it. Well, then the invasion of Texas. And then we're going to have to declare war on a few uh, groups. We're going to have to break our alliance with the Dutch. Retake that. Retake Santa Fe, New Mexico. Take Texas. And that'll be it. Nashville, Chilichuaya, Chilichuawa. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, 
will also fall. But this is it. This is the death note of the Confederacy, guys. She doesn't have much fight left in her. In one year, less than a year, it's what, I don't even know what month it's supposed to be in. Uh, we've defeated the Confederacy, pretty much. And Abraham Lincoln, the third, apparently, has uh, succeeded, keeping the Union together. Ministers, our government popularity. Look at this shit. You don't see this too often, guys. In government popularity, even in the real world, you never see, like, I think Congress's approval is in the single digits nowadays. Uh, but look at that, 76% approval rating. I don't even think any of these guys are real. These guys definitely are. William Stewart was, I believe, the vice president, the first, first term vice president. Salmon Chase is the treasurer. Edward Bates is the eternal attorney general. Simon Cameron is the Secretary of War, and Guyden Wells is the Secretary of the Admiralty. Don't you love that? The old school names for stuff. Secretary of a, of the Admiralty. <laughs> Maria Antoinetta the first. No, I'm not giving you people Maryland. They want DC. I know, people riot in... in Richmond. No, stop the riot. Okay, well. So I thought there was a raid. It was over here. Repair that. Go ahead and uh, repair that. So we got two pretty large armies here. Let's uh, heal this army up. They all need healing. Missouri, I have actual... Oh, I have artillery for no reason. I guess I was going to send that with them and I forgot. Let's get some just Union line infantry. Oh, why can I not get any more line infantry? Oh. I'll just get some Union regulars then. That's fine. For the defense of St. Louis. Garrison in Ready for what you call it, it's doing fine. Richmond, Ready. the march on Kentucky, and then Nashville. Take Nashville as well. The strongest Confederate armies are in the West. All right, so we're gonna save here. Um, I'll do. That's fine. So, I'm going to end this part here for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. When we return, the siege of Georgia, I believe this is. Yes, Savannah, Georgia. So, once again, I want to thank you guys for watching. And until next time, stay tuned.